Hi guys, it's Ben here. Welcome to another video and it's awards time again. It's a September awards for the Premier League as a whole. I've already done my Liverpool awards for the month. There was not a lot to choose from in terms of positive stuff, but the league as a whole, you know, outside of Liverpool has been quite entertaining. Um, so we've got the same five categories as last time. Goal of the month, flop of the month, uh, surprise package of the month, moment of the month, and of course, player of the month. So let's start with the first one, goal of the month, which last month I gave to Charlie Daniels for his strike against Man City. This time there were a few contenders, um, some of the fallen even, you know, Coutinho's free, free kick against Leicester was in a couple of shortlists for this uh, category on other sort of websites. Uh, um, Fabian Delph, Leroy Sané, uh, Valencia for Man United um, against Everton. But I'm giving it to a player that I doubted when he joined the Premier League, um, a player that I wasn't sure about after watching him once or twice, a player that I've always kind of had doubts over, even when playing in other leagues. Um, despite scoring a major tournament and stuff, that's Alvaro Morata. Uh, you know, came on in the Community Shield and uh, missed a penalty. Just didn't look confident there at all. His, his, the move that it seemed like he wanted to Man United never took place. You know, he dyed his hair red. That didn't materialise. He got off to a tough start at Chelsea. Didn't start their first game, but did get a goal um, against Burnley when they when he looked to sort of spark some life into Chelsea but they still lost that game but his goal against Stoke basically is where I'm going for here uh, that's goal of the month as far as I'm concerned he scored three in that game but the one I'm talking about is I believe the second one I should have checked that but I'm pretty sure it's the second one in the second half Glenn Johnson gave it away Murata picked it up he's only just inside the Stoke half uh, and he runs he runs he runs he's got a defender to beat takes it past him shows pace um, great touch great awareness and then just when you need a cool finish um, he doesn't panic, he just dinks it over the goalkeeper. A wonderful, wonderful finish. It really reminded me of Fernando Torres uh, in his prime. It was a wonderful goal, a wonderful hat-trick. Uh, and he's just been firing all cylinders. He's injured now, um, but his goal against Atletico Madrid was a great little glancing header. He just looks the business. Um, I, I, I just love the guy. I, I shouldn't love him as a Chelsea player, but I just love the guy. I can't help it. He wins goal of the month. I've almost become biased because I, I just, I've just taken such a liking to him. I think he's a fantastic striker and I think uh, look, he's probably not Diego Costa, but he's not far off and he is going to fire Chelsea to some trophies over the next few years as far as I'm concerned. Flop of the month. Now, I could have easily given this to Jürgen Klopp, to be honest with you, or, or some other Liverpool players. Obviously, the full Liverpool I gave it to Oxley chamberlain but it gives me great pleasure to give this award to Roy Hodgson. Now... I probably could have given it to Ronald Koeman as well, to be honest, but this is for September and the loss to Burnley was in October, so, I'd, you know, technically I shouldn't really, have, I shouldn't really do that. So I'm going to give it to Hodgson, who's come in, you know, he's a guy that's supposed to come into these sort of clubs and just sort of tidy things up, make them stable, bring them into mid-table or sort of at least to sort of be a short-term solution. Uh, and I, look, I understand they've played Man City and Man United away, but he's come in for three games, they've scored none and conceded 10 in that time. Uh, they lost at home to Southampton and showed absolutely nothing in that game. They didn't even get the new manager bounce that some teams get. And then they went to City and went to United and got absolutely trounced. Look, Liverpool went to City and lost 5-0. We we, it happens to the best of us. But uh, you need to... <laughs> clubs, teams like that, managers like that should be able to go to a ground like that and put a bit more of a fight. Um, not get absolutely embarrassed, but they got embarrassed twice in Manchester. They lost at home to Southampton. Roy Hodgson has not got off to a good start. They're no better results-wise under him than they were under De Boer. And I'm absolutely delighted to see it. Surprise package of the month goes to a club um, who I just mentioned, and it's Burnley. Now, okay, the, the results in September weren't necessarily the most impressive results they've had. They did get the draw at Anfield at that time. They beat Crystal Palace at home and they drew 0-0 against Huddersfield. As I said, the Everton win away uh, was just in October on the 1st. But that does still kind of come into my thinking. I know, I'm, I know I'm picking and choosing, but Burnley, for me, to have sustained the good, solid form that they did in the first month of the season when they uh, beat Chelsea, drew at Spurs... Um, OK, they lost at West Brom, but they're handily placed in the top seven of the Premier League right now, and that is just brilliant. I mean, they're already sort of a third of the way to safety, maybe, uh, and they've already improved on that away form, which was almost what got them relegated last season. They've improved that away form. They're solid at home and not conceding many goals. I'm very pleasantly surprised. Uh, I like Sean Dyche, and I like a lot of the Burnley players. I mean, they're not a team that spends a great deal of money. OK, they brought Chris Wood in for a fair bit from Leeds, but... 
know, they're, they're an honest club, honest fans, a great manager who I'm sure is going to get a big job in the not too distant future. If he wants to leave Burnley, that is, because he seems to be enjoying it. Um, they're only getting better. I'm sure it's going to get to a point where it's going to take them as far as they can go, maybe sort of top half of the Premier League this season, and then he can maybe be looking at, you know, maybe an Everton or, or, or a Newcastle or, you know, sort of a, an upward step it's, it's not quite at the level where you can you can even consider him for the likes of Arsenal or obviously not Liverpool but he's there or thereabouts fair play to him fair play to Burnley they get my surprise package of the month now moments of the month this is a recent one uh, it's from the other day Kevin De Bruyne's goal against Chelsea um, it's not the best goal of the month I think Maratas is but I think it's the biggest goal I think it's the the one which really tells you a lot about Man City. Like, I still think Chelsea are going to be a force this season. I still think they are going to be top three or four. I mean, I know I picked them to finish outside the top four in my predictions video earlier this, early this, uh, uh, this summer, but the way Liverpool have failed to strengthen in the window uh, and the way Arsenal still look a little bit brittle, although I still think they'll be maybe slightly better off than Liverpool when, when all said and done. Uh, Chelsea will be right up there, but Man City are going to be pulling away. Man United are going to be pulling away. And this win for City, um, when they needed to keep pace of United, who just beaten Palace 4-0, was huge. They dominated the game. They were much the better side. They deserve this win. They deserve this goal. A great goal from De Bruyne. A real scruff of the net goal. 1-2 and bang. Big moment in the title race already, I feel. Um, Chelsea aren't dead and buried, but it was just huge for Man City to stay at the very top with Man United uh, as they stay level on points. Uh, at the moment, those are the top two, and it was a huge, huge moment. The real big heavyweight clash of the season so far went Man City's way. It was a huge, huge moment. Finally, the player of the month. Now, I gave it to Sadio Mane in August. Obviously, he's not even eligible this time. He got sent off at Man City, and that was you know, pretty much the last we saw him in September. I'm giving it to the man who had a bad August, but a phenomenal September. Of course, Harry Kane. Now, people can doubt Spurs all they want. Uh, obviously the Wembley Hoodoo is still there, they've not won a league game there, but they did win in the Champions League against Dortmund. But Harry Kane scored six goals, two at Everton, um, two at Huddersfield, and uh, I'm going to have to check it, it was yeah, two at West Ham as well. So all in away games, but wow, what a month he had. Superb. I mean, the, the goals at Huddersfield, the, the second one at Huddersfield, when they just, uh, you know, T -t -t controls it from the throw in, cuts inside, just bends one in with his left foot. Uh, some poachers goals at West Ham, a, a miss hit cross admittedly at Everton, and then the other goal wasn't a nice tidy one. Just, just typical Harry Kane, six goals in a month is staggering. He's going to be right up there with the golden boot. Anyone who was doubting him in August obviously uh, was wrong. I don't think anyone was. People still seem to think that other people think he's a one season wonder. No one thinks that anymore. He is a quality, quality player. England's best striker by an absolute mile. Someone that could lead England to some form of success if. If, if the guys behind him were any good or if the defence was any good for England or the goalkeeper was any good for England but he is that calibre of striker that could lead them to a World Cup unfortunately the team uh, don't, don't match that talent but he's the player of the month phenomenal from him I expect Spurs to do well this season I expect them to still be there or thereabouts whether they can challenge for the title again I'm not sure but I said that last season and they ran it, ran it very close again so there we have it, those are the awards. No Liverpool presence, which is disappointing for me as a Liverpool fan. No positive things for me to really say about them in September, but a lot of big moments, uh, some great goals, some great players. Uh, we've got an international break now, so we will regroup in the middle of October after England play, whoever they're playing, they could be playing anyone as far as I'm concerned. Back with Liverpool versus Manchester United, <laughs> the first game back uh, on Saturday afternoon on October the 14th, dreading it. But that will obviously be taken into account for next month's Pro of the Months. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff. Drop a like, share the video for me, and follow my other socials too. It's Ben Might Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. See you next time.